Yeah, so I actually get this question quite a lot, right? Like, what time frame should I trade? Lower time frame, higher time frame? Actually, there's pros and cons to both of them. On the higher time frame, you know, you, you get away with your spread being tiny because compared to what you're targeting, uh, it's a lot better. So you can get away with, from fees and spreads, which you have a problem with on the lower time frame. You have a lot more time to analyze your markets. Um, but you also have to be, you know, some of the downsides to that is you have to be aware of when the news is releasing. Because if you're getting ready to do your trade on a higher time frame, you need to line it up during a market open that has a news release coming up together with it because you're not going to get a 100, 200 pip movement to fulfill that higher time frame trade without something substantial to cause it that, that movement to happen. So you need to line it up. It, you can't just expect technical analysis to take care of it. Now on a smaller time frame, you have the issue of you need to be right. Uh, very frequently because you have a lot of spread and fees issue, you know, um, you know commissions. I, I've, I've noticed uh, one of these months when I was trading, I, I, I spent over $17,000 in commissions and my profit and loss was in the range of $3,000, $4,000. But I paid so much in commission. So you have to be careful on a smaller time frame because if you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out, your spread can be equal to maybe... 10, maybe even 20% of your trade uh, in, in a whole. So, you know, you have to be, be aware of that as well. Um, the benefits of it is you're able to trade the opening hours. You're able to gauge the momentum. So, you know, going from a smaller time frame to a higher time frame. On a higher time frame, you might be trading today, going into the next day, into the next day, and you have different players playing. But on a smaller time frame, you have the players from that day in your session still there around trading the levels that you're looking at very carefully. So you have the benefits there. So these are your pros and cons of you know trading a higher time frame and a lower time frame. Um, so so for, for beginners, I would say start off with a time frame that's in between, not too high, not too low. You, know, you want to use something like the one hour chart so you have still enough trading examples and you're able to still trade semi-intraday into swing trading. So you're not day trading, but you're more closely to swing trading. Now you have to be aware though, that if you're doing it like this, uh, where you're trading on the one hour charts or maybe the four hour charts, there are gonna be times where you don't get a trade on that specific day. So you can't force trades every single day. You have to be aware of that.